In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform convergence exercises. Keep watching. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rupa Wong, board certified ophthalmologist, and I'm not just an eye surgeon, I'm also a strabismus expert. I'm fellowship trained in strabismus, which is misaligned eyes. So I do surgery to either uncross eyes or make them so that they are no longer wandering out or even vertically misaligned. But sometimes I don't recommend surgery. Sometimes actually eye exercises can be a benefit. So I'm going to review how to perform convergence eye muscle exercises. And the only condition that I usually give these exercises for is for something called convergence insufficiency. That's when your eye muscles have trouble focusing up close. You might experience it as difficulty reading, even double vision, maybe headaches, eye fatigue, or eye strain. And it's a very particular kind of eye wandering or exotropia. It usually only occurs when you're reading something up close. And in the distance, when you look at objects, everything looks fine. And that's when we know that if we strengthen those inner muscles, those muscles of convergence, we can imp improve your ability to focus up close and hopefully alleviate some of those symptoms. Usually for people, when they're looking at things in the distance, their eyes are straight, but when they're looking at something up close, their eyes wander out. Convergence is the ability for the eyes to move in when you're looking at something up close. So for example, if I'm looking here, at this little stick right there. As I'm looking at it, you will notice that my eyes are crossing in. And that's normal. That is linked to your muscles of accommodation, which is your focusing muscles. For some people, they don't have really strong muscles of convergence, so their eyes wander out when they're looking at things up close. So the very simple thing to do is called a pencil push-up. What you're going to do is you're going to hold a pencil arm's length away with the tip up. And it's very simple. You don't need to print anything. If you don't want to, hold it arm's length away. And as you bring it closer, you're going to try to keep the image of the pencil single. Everything else around you is going to double, but you're going to keep the image single. And you're gonna bring it closer and closer to your nose. You're going to notice that there is a point where it starts to get really challenging and the image of the pen or pencil might double. If that's the case, then you actually want to start over. You're gonna pull it back up and you're going to start again and bringing it closer to your eyes. And then eventually the goal is to try to get all the way to your nose with the image remaining single and everything else is double. It's going to feel like you're really putting a lot of effort into it, especially if this is something that your eye doctor has recommended because you have an insufficiency or weakness in your convergence muscles. Now, at-home convergence exercises have been shown to be beneficial in treatment of convergence insufficiency, but not as beneficial as vision therapy with an orthoptist or an optometrist. But home therapy is better than nothing. So it's a great way to get started, especially since vision therapy typically is not covered by medical insurance here in the US, so it's considered out-of-pocket expenses. So if it's not something that you can do right now, then start with the home treatments. So again, what you want to do, hold it up all the way in and back out. That's one. That's like one down and out push-up. You want to do that about 15 times three times a day. So it really only takes about five minutes to improve those muscles of convergence. So there you go. Very simple convergence insufficiency. I also have some extra handouts if you are interested. You can grab them right in my description below of things that I give my patients here in the office so they can at least get started on trying to work on their muscles of convergence. Now, in some studies, it was also shown that it's more beneficial if someone is actually watching you and encouraging you as you do these exercises because they can notice when your eye might start to drift out and it's not crossed in. And if they bring attention to that fact, then you will actually pay more attention and bring the eyes in. So when they did a study where someone else was actually there observing the person doing the exercises, the exercises were more helpful. So you might consider starting out by having someone watch you while you do it. It might feel weird at first, but I promise you it can be really helpful and it's a really easy way to treat this disorder. All right, guys, so that's it for today. So if you wouldn't mind just taking a moment and subscribing to the channel and liking and commenting, I would really appreciate it. Until next time, I am Dr. Rupa. It was good to see you. Bye for now.